Would you trust an app to judge your mole or your child's cough? Before you answer, here's what headlines miss and patients deserve to know. AI already rivals specialists on tests, but real life is messy. One blind spot or missing detail can change a life. In the next minutes, I'll reveal the three walls stopping AI from replacing doctors and the teamwork model already saving time and lives. If you care about safer, smarter care, tap like, subscribe, and stay till the end. This could change how you use AI for your health. Open your camera, snap a photo of a rash, and algorithm whispers, eczema, 92% confidence. Cut to a crowded clinic, five alerts, three guidelines, two patient emails requesting test results, and a waiting room full of real humans. Meanwhile, the AI server hums, millions of cases, instant pattern matches, faster than any specialist's day. So if AI can read your skin better than most dermatologists, why is your doctor still the one making the call? Because medicine isn't just pattern recognition stakes, context, and responsibility. Stick around. In 30 seconds, we'll test the hype, the limits, and the uncomfortable truth about AI in the exam room. AI just matched the accuracy of 25 board-certified dermatologists on a test set of 2,500 selfies. Pretty impressive, right? So, if AI is so smart, why is your family doctor still the one squinting at that weird mole on your back? With AI advancing so rapidly, it's fair to ask how long before machines replace the white coat? The answer is more complicated than most headlines suggest. Today, we're diving past the hype to explore the truth about AI and medicine. You'll learn the three formidable walls blocking AI from replacing physicians and the one collaboration model that's already transforming care. Stick around till the end, because this is a reality check both patients and doctors need to hear. Let's start with the problem. Our healthcare system is overloaded. The average primary care visit lasts just 15 minutes, but a single patient record can run hundreds of pages long. Every click, lab result, and scan note adds to the mountain of data. Imagine trying to summarize a lifetime of medical history in one rushed encounter. It's no surprise that diagnostic errors remain high. The Lancet estimates 12 million mistakes every year in the U.S. alone. Globally, the World Health Organization calls misdiagnosis the blind spot of modern medicine. And as populations age and chronic diseases rise, the burden grows heavier. Physicians are desperate for help, something that can process all that data instantly. Enter AI, the fast, tireless assistant that promises to make sense of the chaos. AI is already changing the game. In radiology, algorithms detect strokes on CT scans faster than seasoned specialists. In ophthalmology, they spot diabetic eye disease in seconds. At the Mayo Clinic, an AI-enhanced ECG can find weak heart pumps long before symptoms appear. By 2023, the FDA had cleared over 500 medical AI devices. These tools don't just crunch data, they help save lives. Even medical documentation is evolving. Large language models now summarize entire hospital stays in seconds, freeing up time for clinicians to actually talk to patients. That's a major win. But notice the pattern. AI excels in structured environments where inputs are clean and the task is narrow. In that controlled lane, it's a world champion. Take it outside that lane and the system struggles. The first wall is technical. Medicine's data isn't built for AI. It's inconsistent, incomplete, and scattered across dozens of incompatible systems. Think of it like trying to cook dinner from cans with the labels ripped off. AI models depend on patterns, but when data is missing or mislabeled, their predictions collapse. An algorithm trained on images from one hospital might fail in another. A model built on adult data may not work for children. And for rare diseases where examples are scarce, AI simply can't learn what it hasn't seen. Then there's the black box problem. Many neural networks can't explain their reasoning. They might say high probability of lymphoma, but not why. That's unacceptable in medicine where every decision can change or end a life. Until we solve explainability, reliability, and interoperability, AI will remain a brilliant but unpredictable intern. The second wall is human. Healthcare isn't just about logic, it's about trust, 
compassion, and connection. When a patient hears the word cancer, they don't need a confidence score. They need eye contact, a calm voice, and reassurance. Harvard studies have shown that empathy itself has measurable effects on healing. AI can mimic words of comfort, but it doesn't feel them. It doesn't sense the hesitation in your tone, the anxiety in your eyes, or the unspoken fear behind a question. A survey by Pew found that 60% of patients are uncomfortable with AI making final medical decisions. They want a human face, someone accountable, someone who cares. Until machines can truly understand emotion, they can't replace the most healing uh, force um, in medicine compassion. The third wall is legal and it's a minefield. If an AI misdiagnoses a patient, who's at fault? The programmer, the doctor, the hospital, the law hasn't caught up. Then there's bias. If your AI was trained mostly on white male patients, it might misread a rash on darker skin or miss a symptom in women. That's not just unfair, it's dangerous. The European Union's AI Act now classifies medical AI as high risk, like an airplane engine. It requires constant auditing, bias testing, and documentation. And privacy laws like HIPAA and GDPR make data access even trickier. Until we balance innovation with accountability, most hospitals will keep their AIs safely behind the research firewall. If you're finding this breakdown helpful, hit subscribe and ring the bell. In a future video, we'll explore the wearable that predicts illness before symptoms appear, backed by real cardiology data. So, if AI can't replace doctors, what can it do? The answer is collaboration. Picture this. AI pre-screens thousands of mammograms overnight, flagging the most suspicious cases. The human radiologist then reviews those images, confirms the findings, and discusses results with the patient. In 2022, a Swedish trial found this human AI teamwork increased cancer detection by 20% while reducing workload by nearly half. That's not science fiction that's happening today. In hospitals, AI now predicts sepsis hours before it appears, flags risky discharges, and assists in drug discovery by analyzing billions of compounds. This is the cyborg model of healthcare humans and machines working side by side. The doctor who learned to use AI will replace the one who ignores it, but the AI that tries to replace doctors entirely will fail. AI can outdiagnose humans in pattern recognition, but it can't outcare them. The three walls still stand, unreliable data, lack of empathy, and legal uncertainty. Until AI can explain itself clearly, connect emotionally, and assume accountability, your physician's job and humanity are safe. I can't say so. The real future isn't AI versus doctors, it's AI with doctors. Silicon handles scale, humans handle soul. Together they form a future of medicine that's faster, fairer, and far more human. Subscribe for weekly deep dives where tech meets medicine, no hype, no jargon, just clarity you can trust. I'm Dr. Saab and this is my AI doctor.